You are now listening to uh, Car Seat Headrest. <laughs> right. your short hair this is me molly rose navaja with my boyfriend carson michael holmes we met nine months ago in my photography class at community college this was our first assignment a double self-portrait we just had a really big fight because i posted a picture of the two of us on instagram and he thinks that i've ruined his reputation for the rest of eternity now i'm about to tell him that i want to get married to him one day you know i I know you're feeling insecure about it because what your friends are saying, but it's it's cute, you know. It has like a like a vintage feel to it, and um, I liked your hair before, but it's better now. You know, I really genuinely think it's a it's a cute. Um, are you okay? What are you looking at? I know you said it makes you sad to talk about this. But I, I would wait for you when you move away. Like, I know you don't want me to, but I would. I would wait for you for the rest of my life until we could be together. Like, I, I don't really know what I did before, and I can't imagine my life without you. I just, I just want you in my life forever, Carson. I really do. I mean, the M word. Ba, 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 da. Ba, 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 you may now kiss the bride. The M word. The M word. What does that mean? Remember the when M-word? I when you said uh, uh, Oh marriage. marriage. Right. Yes, marriage. Right. And I just thought that No, I get it. I okay. <laughs> That went probably as bad as it could have. What follows is the story of me, Molly Rose Navaja, trying to figure out what the fuck to do with some of the strangest circumstances of my young life. I did find out about that job. Are you Molly Navaja? Yes. Mm. So what brings you to this part of the world? Uh, sorry? Where are you? Okay, um, did you find out about the job? I got the job, where are you? That is so great! Which, uh, which store is it again? The one near the skate park? I am so glad it's that one and not the other one. I, uh, I hate the other one. I'd never be able to visit you. Where are you? I'm, um... I'm still up with the boys right now. We're working on the project. We're literally creating all day and all night up here. Finally, uh, making something, you know? Uh, do you miss me? I miss you. 
Well, are you coming back then? I, I can come help you now. I'd love to. Well, I, I wouldn't make you take the drive. It's uh, like an hour, Carson. There's too much to do up here, and uh, I can't really have you just standing around, but um, how about you come up after your first shift, and uh, we'll all celebrate. Okay? Deal? What the fuck do you mean? You, you can't do what anymore? You're sitting here, and you're breaking up. You're breaking up with me on the fucking phone after everything, Carson? All right, and can I get a name for the order? The name is Chi Chi, C-H-E hyphen C-H-E. Thank you very much. You're a handsome thing for that. That was the ugliest fucking dog I had ever seen. Talking to me? No. Your shoes are really cool. Yeah? Yeah. Ditto. What'd you say? I said ditto. No fucking way you just said ditto. No one's ever used that term before they met me. What's your name? David. 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 <laughs> What's your last name? Yeah, Joe. Kendall. Okay. Fuck. David. Okay, yeah, hello, Kendall. What's your last name? Um, Navajo. It's a type of Spanish butcher knife. That is so fucking hot. Mm-hmm. What else do you know about you, Molly? Um, I'm like, um, an art major. You go to art school? Well, it's a, I'm, I'm going to a liberal arts college in, um, Philadelphia. Yeah, you're not going to college. Uh, well, I want a gap year. What's a gap year? Ah, never mind. <laughs> Okay, I'll go back to the next one. Okay, um, so what kind of music do you like? I literally never saw that kid again. up with me. You're seeing a new girl. I'm not seeing a new- Okay, then what the fuck do your little Instagram captions mean? They don't mean anything. Carson, I'm tired of being stuck in this same situation. We're not even in a fucking relation. I have to move on from this. Please, don't. Please don't. Please don't move on. Do you remember our talk? About the M word? Hello? Yes. I was so tired. I had just gotten used to sleeping in my own bed again and then Carson calls to tell me that he still loves me. Like, what the fuck was I supposed to do? I mean, here I was stuck between believing Carson or moving on and considering I was desperately in love with him and he was actively lying to me and neither option made much sense. I couldn't believe I was getting hung up on by my not exactly ex-boyfriend and his commitment issues. I mean, didn't people have actual problems with actual consequences and weren't people dying? And weren't there people being murdered as we speak or finding out that their cat has fucking like feline AIDS or that the surgery didn't go as expected or that they aren't getting into their dream school or that their boyfriend was cheating on them or... Tix? No, I think 
she's allergic to the grass. Oh. Shouldn't you pull her out then? She wouldn't know the difference. Dear Diary, I somehow forgot that there was a third, cooler option. Revenge. What? You're gonna hate me, but my return flight got pushed ahead of day. But I brought you this whole thing of pineapple. Well, that changes everything. I'm here. I'm unarmed. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Carson. 
Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Is that, is that right above that first hoop of the M? And perfect. Okay, we're getting some splatter, sir.